Recently I looked at the map of Germany and I noticed that there are many autobahns that end in the middle of nowhere. So I searched all over Germany for these places and also found all kinds of other weird stretches of highway. Stay tuned to see this, this and this. Before we begin, we have to define the rules of this list, so we can know what counts and what doesn't. First of all, there are many autobahns where a part has never been built, but often the endings are now transitious to other kinds of roads. This doesn't count. Secondly, you have the highways under construction. They are clearly visible and do not count. And with that out of the way, let's start the exploration. We start our list with the partial cloverleaf interchanges, which are commonly used in Europe. This one is located at the A281 near Bremen and looks pretty new to me. It stops in the middle of a field near an industrial area, but when you look a bit further, you see that there is another part of the A281 on the other side of the river. So my conclusion is that they probably wanted to connect these two pieces, but it never happened because then they had to build a tunnel under the river. Strangely enough, the highway ends 9 kilometers down, again in a weird way. Next up is the A14 near Karstedt. This one ends in the middle of nowhere, but 90 km to the south is the rest of the A14. So these two probably had to be connected. And because there is construction work going on on the other end, we continue to the A392 near Wadenbüttel. This one looks quite old, because there are trees growing on the embankments. For what I found, is this one unlikely to be extended in the future. In Brunswick, at the other end of this 3 km long highway, there is another weird ending. Near Wolmirstedt there is another part of the A14 missing. In the south the end of the highway is a transition to a normal road, but in the north is this unfinished highway connection. Next up is Kirchlinde, where this end is located in the middle of a residential area, so an extension is unlikely. Then we go to the A44 near the airport of München Gladbach where there is a 12 km gap between the two stretches of the highway. And with that we arrive at the open cast mines of Western Germany that can be seen in episode 3. And because these mines are excavating parts of the A61, there are two weird endings left. We continue with a missing section of the A1 between Tondarf and Dreisbrück. Near Waal is this one located. At near Benstedt we see a suspicious pattern in the fields. So maybe the plan is to extend the highway soon. The A480 autobahn has a 4 km long piece near Asla with two weird ends and a huge intersection with the A45. Now that we have had the partial cloverleaf interchange, we can continue with the cloverleaf interchange. This one at the intersection of the A42 and the A45 near the Bolderschwing still has four active loops due to the connection that follows shortly after. 11 km to the south we find this cloverleaf interchange. Although you see here that the traffic is driving on the two nearest loops, Google Maps says it is only on one loop indicating that this half cloverleaf interchange has recently been turned into a trumpet interchange. At last of the cloverleaf interchanges we have the intersection of the A59 and the A542, where a connection with the Dutch border was never built. This trumpet interchange connection connects the unfinished A46 with Iserlohn. At Dreyer Castle Süd near Bergshausen lies this abandoned trumpet interchange. The A571 splits off the A61 to end after 2.5 km in this unfinished interchange. And this is the end of the A46 where an impressive bridge has been built. In the south of Germany you have this autobahn called 
the A98 and it's built with just one lane instead of two which is the normal on the autobahn system so that's very weird near Rateren is this abandoned intersection which didn't make the list because there is construction work going on here which is actually a pretty impressive bridge Near Wiesensteig you have the A8 Autobahn where one direction goes to the left of this mountain and the other direction goes to the right of this mountain. Do you want to see a sort of second part with parts of the unfinished Autobahns left in the landscape? Let me know in the comments and I see you next time.